Mission Impossible. Oh, damn, it's the wrong song. All right. Good morning, and welcome back to E Cubed. We're playing Terraforma Punk, and I've got Albanac and Spud Gun. And Spud Gun has recently befallen a tragic accident. Oh, oh yes. no! Tragic accident. So he, bad. He found he he stumbled on a ruin that happened to kill him, and I don't know whether to be excited or disappointed <laughs> or you, sad. So oh, sorry, you, you bad boy. <laughs> ah! Hey, you hit him with a sword. I hit him with a stick. Oh, okay. I, I was trying to get that. Uh, what was that? That ah, achievement, Steve that Owen. Achievement. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm actually glad that one of my ruins uh, finally defeated the the ultimate terraformer crafter. <sighs> twice, not just so, once, but twice. The three of us are going to go on a little trek to see if we can uh, reclaim his stuff. So, let's get we started, we guys. Away. <clears throat> Damn. The frog just jumped down my throat. <laughs> Froggy! All right, yeah. I'm, we're following Spud. Follow okay, the we leader, leader, go leader. to the water over here and grab a boat. It's probably the best way. Those crazy boats. Oh, man, they're so bad. And I can't sprint. My sprint key is broken. You could change it Oop. to the mid the boat there. The roulette button on your mouse. Yeah, I usually change it to one of the extra buttons on my epic gaming mouse. What kind of mouse you got? A Razer Death Adder. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can definitely tell. You're a professional gamer, dude. I've huh? got like a, a 299, you know, freaking <laughs> Carrefour Express bleeding crappy mouse. <laughs> Uh, I still got the mouse that came in the box with the computer. <laughs> no, I like to be able to like beans. change my DPI and stuff like that. Ooh, and what are these? Green beans. Yep. Oh, that's that's Galena on the floor there, oh, I think. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's just Galena. Right, Led. so grab a boat and go round. Just basically follow the coast, I think. Uh, boat fail. Okay. Watch me break my boat. Yeah, oh. I don't have a, a spare boat, yeah. so don't bang into me, dude. <laughs> Whoa. I managed to break my boat like in the middle of the ocean with nothing around me. <laughs> well, they're still <laughs> out of they're they're still out of sync with the server, so. Yeah, but that was on single player, like <laughs> early wow. today. Yeah. So bad. What the heck do you guys go to? Ooh. We're heading south. Did you want to put the cords in the in the thing? Uh, yeah, one sec, so we don't crash into it? the land, okay. right. What was it, six? It is X670, and Z minus 7,000? 7, 7,000, I think, is what you My... put in, in the chat. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, he broke it. Oh, you got another boat? Um, I, will do I can when I make one. When there's a tree over there, don't worry. I can make another one. I've got another one here. Come to the water. Yeah, the land is not loading for me. Yeah, I was literally in the middle of the ocean, and all of a sudden I appeared at, beside the land with my boat. The boat. Like, to the, to, to, to the your left. right, Al. Right, right even. Mm -hmm. Through the reeds. It's getting dark as well, so you got to be careful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and put a chest on the land by the thing so I can put all my spare hammers. I also bought a sharpness one stone axe, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> not really worth it, honestly. No, probably not. I, I've actually been testing out some of the enchantments. The vanilla enchantments are just not really worth it. Yeah. <laughs> they add a few hearts as opposed to, like, a percentage. Now, strength potion, that's, that's a different story. It was that OP? I think it's like 200%. Oh man. Or 300% for strength two or three or something. It's it's a percentage, so it's in TFC it that's, actually that's makes cool. a difference. Mm. It actually works. Holy crap! But yeah, sharpness really didn't. I really didn't see a difference. Wow. I literally just shot by you, sport. All of a sudden. Oh, you're still really? behind me in my. Still behind me, yeah. The server's desyncing on me. 
All right, go past this. Uh, you guys are both in Europe, though. Tiki head. Yeah, I've got a pretty good ping. Not too bad. I'm afraid to move now in case I bang into the bleeding <laughs> into the land. I can't even see you now. You've disappeared. Yep. I literally just stopped dead to see if I could catch up, but I have a feeling I'm going to smack into land in a second. <laughs> oh, you put a torch on the tiki head. Oh, yeah, that was uh, when I was exploring. Yeah, I, I've i added uh, another oh. mod called <laughs> Dynamic <laughs> Lighting, and it doesn't recognize that, yeah. that the torches have burned out. <laughs> Oh, so cool. it still has a little glow around the tiki guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that happens in uh, that happens in regular TFC. Like I think if um, if you unload the chunk while it burns out, I think it stays lit or something like that. I'm not too sure. Wow. Okay, maybe Kinda that's weird. what it is. I see yeah. Al again. Is he yeah. on the land? Or? So huh? this this ruin that we're going to is a submarine, and I it, wanted to name it right after. here actually. I wanted to name it after uh, Jules Verne, so it's called the Nautilus. <laughs> and the Nautilus two thousand. Yeah, it's right there. It kind of looks like if you pull it out from under the, Where? it's been sunk in the mud. So yeah. Um, what is it? An actual sub? Yes, it is a submarine. Creeper. Oh, I was okay, gonna, cool. I was gonna <gasps> oh, put creeper. a chest over there, but there's a creeper oh. in the way, so. I want to hit him with a stick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> creepers are not that hard to deal with when you're in the water. There's no, a couple true. of creepers. I just I don't want to have to deal with them. I'll go take him out. I got no problem with creepers. Now the spiders and the yeah. zombies. Yeah, the spiders that's, are no thing that's a different story. Hello, creeper. But you we need to we need stick. to place the bed at night. So. Yay! <sighs> Steve Irwin, ta-da! <laughs> oh, we got one of those Whee! zombies riding a uh, skeleton or a, 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 wolf. Uh, a wolf. It looks funky because yeah. he's flying. He looks like he's flying, actually. Wow! This is the right mustache. <laughs> and you're doing it with a stick. No, no I changed up the sword now, dude. All right, place I that killed... bed. Place that bed quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, we got hammers okay. and the axe in there. I can't put yeah. the axe in there. Nope. You can't place a bed on Dirt. the bloody sand. Ah, oh, okay, it just took ages to okay. place it. Set your spawn. Yep. Do it before I need the moon some sets. Water as well. <laughs> You're in there backwards, dude. <laughs> there you go. That makes no difference. Uh, Important thing is my spawn is set. Yep. It's got sparkles. Nice. All right. There's probably going to be quite a lot of mobs in there now. We've spent a little, little bit of time um, around here. Those spawners work the same as a dungeon spawner. Oh, so you have to be quite close. You have to be within 16. Okay. Oh, careful as an enderman, right? And you're yeah, I don't want to play with him. <laughs> no. All right, where's the, where's the sub? Oh, there it's it is. Right there. Well, we yeah. don't have any breathing potions, so where's those ladders you were talking about? The, uh, there is ladders like as you go into it. I think it's actually air inside. Yes, there is. There should be air inside the sub. I thought you said you placed them on the outside. Yeah, though. you can see them just to the right of it, just past the uh, the trunk thing. <laughs> it's not a trunk, whatever it's called. Where's the actual the? That's where I was trying to break entrance? in. The entrance. There should is be this an entrance, big, isn't it? Long at the, thing at the top. It's on the, the top. trap door. Yeah. You going in? Oh, he's okay. brave. Yeah, I'm in. Should we break that? Uh... Might have a bad time. Somebody's getting hit. That was me. Oh. Go, Spud, go. I'm gonna break break that spawner because I hate them. The crabs. Oh, oh uh, they they're quite easy to kill now, actually. Yeah, I. Yeah, here's your um. I can see your. It's done. Your... It's right here. Your crazy. Is there another spawner? Yes. There's two gravestones. Sweet, I'm gonna grab my stuff. And there's a bed. Yep, there should be quite a few beds. Actually, no, I, I made them despawn, didn't I? You Whoops. gotta use a pickaxe. All right, what yeah. What is this thing in the ground? Sweet, I got my stuff, baby. Woo. Yay. I'm all that full wasn't and that difficult. happy. Yeah, if you yeah, spawn. Now he's changed Dude, the, uh, how did you die this he's changed <laughs> the damage values. It's all right, yeah. Oh, man. It was terrible. Well, also, <laughs> if you rush... A, uh, a dungeon, it's much easier to take than 
Yeah, true. True, true. Um, then if you just kind of hang out. What's this out? weird thing I'm looking at? Looks like some sort of weird press on the machine or something. Uh, it's one press. of the bibliocraft. Uh... Ooh. <gasps> and there's steam tanks. Who wants... Whoa, loads of steam That's tanks. I'm looking at this thing here. I'm trying to break it, but I can't break it. I have no inventory space, so I will leave the loot for you so you can... Uh... As payment for being so awesome and helping me get my stuff. What loot is that? All these steam pipes and steam tanks. That's some pretty good loot. And then check out up front. There's a. Uh, uh, can someone bed, borrow though. me a pick for a second? There's some shelving. I actually have a spare one now. Two spare ones. Oh. Ooh, shelves. <gasps> I forgot you could make these. Yeah. That's, that's the stuff that comes from the Biblio Bibliocraft mod. Dibs on the clock. Got the Dibs clock. on the clock. Got a typewriter. Cool. Sweet. And I've got, got some shelving. water. I can drink. Oh. And we probably want to get these... Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Hug me. Hug me. Support. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a whole freaking engine in the back here. Yeah. I have a snowball as well. Um, that's snowball. from the, the ice... Oh, guys. Awesome. Sweet. I've got uh, I've got some more beds now as well. That's pretty awesome. I don't know, is is the regular Minecraft bed different from the TFC bed? Maybe we could um um I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe we could reconstruct this uh submarine back at our base. That'd be kinda of fun. <laughs> I think the this I think Wolf said there's a few that spawn around. Uh, there's two different models. There's a light one and a dark one. And there's also some some subterranean models. So Sweet. you will also find some underground. Um, like I didn't really I didn't really make it based off of um, the journey to the center of the earth. I said, yeah. why, why not use the same submarine for <laughs> the the ship that can travel uh, under the ground? So, so you've got two different, you've got what, four different models actually. You've got two underwater versions, and then you've got two underground versions. So yeah, feel free to disassemble as much as you want. Um, I'm trying to get rid of this water. Right, I kind of. Pardon me. Oh no, that's not going to happen, is it? Because it's open. Stupid. What is this black uh, break? Is this basalt? Basalt, yeah. Mm -hmm. It actually oh, says no. if, you, if you hover over it. Cool. So nobody wanted the shelves or the typewriter? Yeah, I'll take them. Oh. Yeah, no, you them take you it. guys. Oh, cool. Where the heck is the typewriter? I didn't see it. It's on the ground. There. Behind you. It's behind you. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna be a rider. There you go. Got the other <laughs> shelf. Did I get it? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Well, that wasn't too bad. No, that was kind of easy now. You've tweaked the damage things. But... I'm glad I had some. Were they, were they even help. hitting you? I I think no. I, I killed one of the uh, the snowflake thingies, but it didn't hit me. I just one shot it with a copper sword, which is pretty easy. But it wasn't those that got me See, in the first place. It was some crab things. Yeah. Um. The crab spawner was right here. Yeah, I got rid of that straight away. <laughs> and those were doing like two and three hundred. Oh. Two to three hundred damage. So I, two I to just three hundred. Wow. I just dropped it a little bit. I didn't drop it a lot. Yeah, I didn't even see any of them spawn to be honest. So I think we we did good. We did well, real hey. good. <laughs> well. Yeah, that's how most of the dungeons have been. There's you know there's a there's a couple of spawners like the one you took in your last episode. Um, the the house that you built with all the steam pipes in it. Oh yeah. Um, 
saw your episode, you just ran in and took out the spawners like nothing. That's how most of the ruins have been. But that's um, the yeah. best way of taking out dungeons. It's just not waiting, because the longer you wait, the, long, uh, the more mobs can spawn. So I think that's that might have been what happened the first time you came in here, is that when when you first came in, you were probably looking for the entrance, right? No, I, I'd already been here and scouted it. I knew it was here. So I, I just came straight down. There was one. Uh, he hit me a couple of times, and then two of his buddies spawned and just messed me up, wrecked uh. my face. Yeah. Yeah, having, uh, having three of those guys on you would have been pretty bad. Yeah, I think only one of them hit me though. I don't know. I I recorded it, so I will uh, check it out. I haven't check had time. Check footage. To... Yeah, I haven't had time to check the footage because I had to. We can't take the glass with us. No. But I think the basalt is more important than the glass. The glass you can get fairly easy. Yeah, hopefully we can find some uh, actual basalt deposits somewhere on on the seed. That'd be nice. Oh yeah. I've been looking for stuff, but <laughs> I haven't really found thing, though, it's like, Can this um, submarine actually cave in on us? Nope. No. No, so, okay. Not when it's made from these types of bricks. These are not right. gravity or cave-in dependent bricks. Um, that's not to say that some of the other dungeons won't have collapsible stuff. But right. I would be careful of the ceiling. It is dripping a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I see dripping, I don't touch the stuff. But we also do need to to maintain our way out. Oh, I see Spud fix the ladders. Yeah, I got that. Nice. Well, I will I'll get some of this basalt and I will donate it to the community blacksmith. Who I thought you were building the community blacksmith, Spud. I might do if I, if I uh -oh. have time. I'm still working on a on a house. I need to think of a design for a house, which is causing me some trouble. I really like the design that uh, Wooly had on his. Um, the forest one. Well, the the last season he had a pretty good. Yeah. He had a nice house. Yeah, our house was great. Sweet. Well, I'm saying he had a nice smithy. Yeah. yeah. Not so much. I mean, the house was cool, but what I'm trying to say is his design for a smithy was really nice. It was it was pretty open. What keeps happening? What keeps I'm taking away the, the basalt and, and uh, things fall. I'm replacing it with wood, so it's okay. cool. <laughs> I will not go down without a fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should dig out the stuff in the in the floor. Yeah, yeah don't do that. Yeah. There's also slate here, which is a new type of stone for some people. I think I've got a little bit, but... Slate? But... Where the heck have you seen that? It's all around oh, us. This is slate. Yeah. Yep. I thought slate was darker, though. No, I think ah, that yeah, might it's coming up with rhyolite. slate, yeah. Rhyolite and slate look kind of similar. Mm. All right, well... I'm going to cut this here, and we're going to catch everyone back at the village. Yeah. All right. It looks like we made it back safe and sound, and I still have my uh, Kevlar vest on. <laughs> Aha, army mate. We're officially <laughs> pirates. Uh... That, uh, we got off a uh, uh, one of the special zombies that I added. Oh, look. Clock. Almanac has a clock. No, that's Bob. That's my clock. It's oh, my clock. God. I want that clock. Ah! You, were, you were standing right next to it. I saw you... St you're yeah, standing no, there. I think it's board mentioned That's a pretty that. awesome clock. There's actually yeah. a quest to to make a clock. It's one of the much higher level quests. Oh, but cool. yeah, the clock is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I got all the mundane stuff like blocks and, blocks uh, and typewriter. So. I got a <laughs> clock typewriter. and a bed. Oh, you got a Monday. <laughs> so you did get a bed out of the ship? Yeah, there was. Uh, I think there was two, maybe just one. Yeah, there should there actually there's a bunch of bunk beds all up and down that ship. Yeah, well, maybe I just saw destroyed a bed. couple. So. Okay. Well. well, so we had a successful adventure. We raided a ship, we took out some honors, got Spud's got my... stuff back. Yeah. Yep. So happy. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hug me. So, <laughs> Hug me. as uh, <laughs> I was saying before, I looked, the mod pack is still in development. And... Yeah, it's definitely in, in, in development.
and I'll be mm-hmm. putting out uh, development episodes as I go along. So maybe you should warn people about being very careful when they go near submarines. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's it, this time it was just that we ran in really quick and we didn't waste any time taking out the spawners. And uh, also, health were changed a little. <laughs> nope, not much no, but, was actually changed. Yeah, not much. The damage all. a little bit. Just a little. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So uh, we'll see you guys next time on the E Cube server. Bye. Bye. Bye.